data is very important and information and evidence is very important for setting up a social protection system. So in Ghana, Africa, what we did was ILO and the World Bank and our Ministry of Finance and Local Government did a, rash, a rationalization study. So they, they came up with the evidence and the data, what was existing in Ghana. 44 social protection programs running in silos, parallel, not speaking to each other. Lots of public resources going in and yet poverty was not reducing. So we took a decision as a country, as a government, to create a system and we decided on five key social protection interventions that would have an impact and help reduce poverty. So this is the way we went. So we created a household registry, we created a comprehensive legal and policy framework for social protection and built an institution at all levels of governance to coordinate because the key was coordinating social protection and connecting all the dots, health, education, cash transfer. And of course the issue of corruption because we had a manual system and sometimes some of the public officers took the monies for the cash transfer. So then we had to make our social protection and cash transfer system credible. And we did this by migrating from a manual to an electronic system and creating a very efficient MIS system. We have put in the cash transfer that we, we call it LEAP. Uh, an internal audit system that is able to track the money. Now, first, you used to get postal, post office workers going into the communities with sack loads of, literally sack loads of money to distribute the money. So now, what do we have? We have the biometrics. It was expensive, but we had to go through that process. So we have the biometrics of every beneficiary. So when it's time to pay, they have their plastic card. They just they put their thumb on the POS system. There's valid uh, verification, and the money is loaded onto their plastic card, and they can collect the money as and when. And mobile money has coming as uh, very very important in terms of financial inclusion. So in areas where there's no connectivity and all that, we are able to use mobile money. And that's how we are able to track the money. So uh, in the back room, the IT people, the MIS people are able to track whether the money has actually been collected or not. And we're able to ensure that it is that beneficiary who has been targeted and who has been documented and identified and registered under the system who actually receives the money. There are enough resources. Mexico is an upper middle income country, so it's, uh, it's quite quite rich. But we have levels of poverty that, that are stubbornly high. Uh, the poverty rates in Mexico are about the same that they were in the mid-90s. And uh, that's despite the fact that there have been lots of innovation in social policy in Mexico. The conditional cash transfers were initiated in Mexico in the late 90s. Uh, and there have been a lot of resources. And, and what we think is, is uh, uh, one of the, the, the reasons of why we, we, we can reduce poverty, we can reduce inequality, we can't uh, uh, improve the, the rights of, of, of people in Mexico, is because of corruption and the lack of, of, of accountability of governments at different levels. The federal government, the, the state governments, and the municipal governments that use a lot of these social policy instruments to buy votes, to, to protect their, their, va their base, but not necessarily to improve the welfare or to improve the, the, the citizen rights of the population. If you think about it, there was a lot of corruption on, on, on public money in the United States in the, in the late 19th century. And it was through the, this oversight of Congress, it, it was through the creation of a, public, uh, a professional public service that was not uh, not linked to, to political parties, and, 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 and the strength of civil society, the groups that were uh, overseeing uh, 
how that money was being spent, how decisions were being made, uh, that that uh, it was uh, it was uh, it was overcome that problem in, in 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 the United States. And I think that's something that we need to learn from. And I think it's it's very important that we we realize that these are problems that have been happening across history that have had solutions.